My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to episode 4 of City Skylines in the UK theme city of West Bambridge. Today we start on one of our pedestrian footbridges that jumps over the London Road and we can see the traffic coming and going along along the stretch of London Road here, supplying our city with various goods as well as obviously giving people a chance to get in and around the city, to work, to the shops, and all that other good stuff that our citizens have a mind to do. Now between episode 3 and this one, I have made a few small changes to this city, a little bit of expansion work, and like last time, before we get started with the episode proper, we will go ahead and check those changes out. As a little test, I have also enabled the day-night cycle, so there will be periods of darkness where the city is illuminated by the artificial streetlights and such like, and that could be quite nice to see, but if you prefer to see permanent daytime, then obviously let me know and I can always change it back and maybe just put a few nighttime shots in from time to time just to mix it up. So let's exit first person camera and let's have a look. So where are we at the minute? This is Cockwood I believe or is it? No it's Tilehurst. As we can see the sun is now setting over the city of West Bambridge. The lights are starting to turn on. Let's discuss the changes. The first change I have made, let's wait for the auto save, there we go, is I have removed the power plant, the uh, Batsy coal, coal powered power, coal fired power station, coal power station. The power station that uses coal to generate steam to generate power, that's gone, as we obviously that was in this area here, if you recall. That's now gone, and I have replaced that with a solar updraft tower, and that is all the way over here at the motorway junction, way away from the town. Looks quite nice in the dark, actually. A few northern lights over there as well. Now, we can't see, but we do have pylons running into the city from there. I must say, it does look quite nice at night. Obviously, you can't see anything, but from time to time, to have a nighttime shot, it can be quite beautiful. Anyway, so yes, I've gone green with our power generation and the solar updraft tower, and that's meeting our power demands quite nicely. Only 47% utilization. That is at 100% budget, so we could reduce that if we wanted to, but we're making enough money that it doesn't really matter anymore. Other changes, because at the end of the last episode, if you recall, we did unlock high density residential. Now, I've avoided using these via the ploppable Rico until such time as we unlock them. But I have gone ahead using the ploppable Rico mod and put down a few high density UK style flats and apartment buildings along here, as we can see. We also unlocked high density commercial, and that's what we see here. And again, these are done using the ploppable Rico. So a couple or a small selection of UK style shops, uh, Curry's, Pets at Home, The Range. We also have a Sainsbury's and an Iceland and an Aldi. So they're all done manually using the ploppable Rico rather than zoning. A few more apartments and flat buildings over here as we can see as well and because of the realistic population mod oh small city 11,000 people already my word what have we got here and train stations cable cars monorails what else a yoga garden hydro power plant a UK village train station very good tracks obviously to go with all of those and a few new policies and we've unlocked trains monorails and cable cars um what was i saying i've completely lost my train of thought oh yes that's right because of the realistic population mod 
This has really boosted the population of our city in these uh, by using these flats in these apartment buildings. What else did I do? I expanded this area here, New Portsy. We've gone from just this small area to this area as well. And as you can see, I've retained the grid style. I've tried to keep it a little, uh, a little different. So it's not just repeating grids of the same size. They're different shapes and sizes just to break it all up just a little. And other than that, I don't believe there were any other changes. So that's the current state of affairs as we stand. So where are we going to go today? Well, got a demand for residential, commercial and industrial. So we can start satisfying those demands. And I think what we're going to do is first of all wait until, not do that, we're going to wait until sunrise. And then we're going to build out in this area down here. We'll take a junction off of here, run it around into here with a uh, collector road, and then just have another suburb out in this area. After that, I'd keep talking about expanding up here from Penketh. So we'll do that at some point as well, now that we unlocked this tile at the end of the last episode. So we'll make good use of that in the near future, and as day breaks, we can make a start. Let's reduce back to one times game speed. And let's go ahead and get a collector road. What do we want to use? As you can see, I have the, what's, I can't remember what's, expanded toolbar, I think that's what the mod is called. And that's why the toolbar design has changed. Makes it a little bit smaller so you can fit more on your screen at once, which is nice. Anyway, let's press on. Shall we use that? Or do we want two unit three lane roads? Maybe that one there. Yeah. What's the terrain like here? Let's have a look. Nice and flat. Starts to rise up a little here, but nothing too drastic. So. I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Let's make a start. So we'll take it out straight initially. We need to remove those little trees there. So let's just do that. Remove the, get the size right down. Just so we can fine tune what trees we want to get rid of. I keep meaning to do this. I have figured out what's happening here. We need to turn off tree anarchy. Which is that one and then it should remove the trees now so yes let's continue this collector road out here and then we'll start going a little bit more freeform as we look to curve in to the junction up here at new portsy lovely perfect okay yep yeah, that'll work that'll work nice now we can go down to the suburban roads and we'll stick with the tree line roads because they break it up quite nicely. Now where do we want to come off? Mindful of having too many junctions in short succession. I think we'll come off here and we'll bring this around here and this will be almost a, a mini collector road. So this will be the main not the main road as such, but the primary road that comes through these suburbs. And off of this road, we'll have all of our smaller residential roads. And we'll swap out for a different style just to mix it up. So this is moving away from the grid form that we'd used in the previous episode. And going for something a little bit more higgledy-piggledy. There might be the occasional bit of grid work or 90 degree roads like that, but nothing. It's not going to be, that's going to be the exception rather than the rule. And do we want one more perhaps coming down this way? Sure. And we've got this space here, so we may as well utilize that. So you can come up there. 
and then come down there and we'll just have a little connector into there like that you can branch off and be a little cul-de-sac of sorts and you may as well link up to you there yeah that will work okay I should think let's lay down some water pipes and again these pipes aren't quite following the roads 100% but they're close enough there we go so that's the water supplied we will make this a new district I think so we'll start with the medium size and if we push new ports boundaries back a little like that and then have this go all the way out we're gonna have to push back Islington Park and I forgot the name of that district again Tilehurst there we go but yes and this is Montrose very well did that fill in correctly no we missed a little bit there you go so we have the new suburb of Montrose so let's get a zone in shall we do some high density down here but before we do that let's go to the theme manager enable theme manager for this district it will have the commercial in fact I think we might mix it up a little here and just have no theme manager so it will build well I believe it will then build anything I think no no it won't what we need to do go back to the theme manager we need to click that we don't want terraced out here we'll go for semi-detached we'll allow European European suburbia that's low density I guess residential low uh, semi-detached housing okay whatever go away detached housing we'll keep commercial in there as well and we'll go for that one as well why not there we go did that take yes it did brilliant okay so now we can start our zoning efforts and again we'll like I said we'll go for the high density this time and have a nice built-up area through here and we'll see what sort of buildings we get popping into existence when they start to move in hopefully it will be a nice blend and they should all hopefully fit in with a UK theme even if one or two of them might be vanilla and thus not UK in overall appearance but having the occasional one or two that doesn't fit in and stands out from the crowd isn't a bad thing as long as the, the majority of the theme is UK I'll, I'm happy enough with that so let's just get it all zoned in this is going to be a well hopefully be a deeply built up residential area I'm going to put some access pavements down just in places like this and we'll turn off all of the snap twos and just like places like that so the residents don't have to walk quite so far if they're wanting to get over to the shops for example and we can have one there whoops there we go so let's have a look what sort of houses we do have being built yeah I'm happy enough with that mix that yeah it's got some European style ones there which is fine but overall yeah got no real concerns with those right so we need some commercial now I'm not going to do high density commercial I'm going to stick to the regular low density for now but we are going to run that all along the front of what's that Campbell Avenue yeah wonderful and we also need a little industrial no we have a fire over here on Sheringham Sheringham Street yep that's right so we should see our helicopters in action there they are hopefully the fire department can arrive before there is too much damage there they come now let's just speed it up and see how this pans out obviously all these trees here are going to be 
spreading this fire rather rapidly, which is a small concern. What's this? An achievement. The waters of our lives. I didn't know that was a thing. Obviously, it's the first time I've unlocked it. Otherwise, it wouldn't have popped up. So, well done, me. Okay, this fire is getting quite rampant. Okay, yes. And now the supermarket is on fire. Everybody's flooding out. Okay, so they've saved the supermarket. The park's on fire. My word, what a fire this is. I'd rather the helicopters focused on the trees. Nope, the next park and the next park's on fire. Good lord. Well, this is the way to spend an evening. Okay, it looks... If we can get these here, con contain, it, contain the spread on the trees, please. That's what I prefer the helicopters to focus on. Yeah, now it's jumping over into uh, newly constructed Montrose, which is not good. I mean, the fire department do seem to be responding to the burning buildings pretty quickly. Just the uh, the helicopters are struggling to keep on top of the, the spread via the trees, which is the big problem at the moment. And as we can see, it's pretty much burnt and laid waste to this entire stretch of land down here. I like how the people just continue to walk past as if, you know, everything's fine. This is fine. Right, there we go. They've uh, got on top of it and the fire has been contained and extinguished. Right, as I was saying, we need some industrial as we can see. So we could continue our little industrial zone down here. And I think... That's pr although we. Hmm, I'm quite tempted to try a farm area, but the terrain isn't that great here. Obviously, we've got this large hill, and I have a feeling that all the buildings are just going to create these weird ridges here. But you know what? What the heck? Um, I'm sure that's going to be fine. Let's just get the picker mod there, and we'll continue this road and where do we want to link it up to well I think we'll just have it come all the way through down to there and yeah you see we've got the the ridges forming from the road but I think if we use the slope tool which is this one here and say if we start it from there and just select all of these nodes we can then equalize the slope and then hopefully use the terrain modifier tools to deal with the ridges let's see if we can so we want that and we want that as you see i've got a, a mod now which improves the brushes for terrain modification and that seems to have it's taken the worst of the edge off hasn't it yeah it's fine Right, so if we were to build a farm area, we want it in this patch here. This is our fertile land, as you can tell by the, the colour difference. So what we'll do is, from this road here, which is a collector, we'll have a road that climbs the hill. In fact, let's put the contour map on. And we'll try and follow this gradually or not and you can join in too there we don't want traffic lights instead we want this road to give way to the uh, main arterial and that to give way to that collector there where it joins in now let's just quickly try smoothing that out Again, it's taken the worst of it off, but it's not perfect by any means. But that's okay. Okay, so now we need some small roads coming off here. And what shall we use? The rural village roads, perhaps? What else do we have? Go away. What's these? Suburban streets? Cobblestone Road, no. 
do we have any gravel roads? Well, that's for pedestrians, so we're not that. It's not in there. I thought we could have a gravel road here, but I can't seem to find one. Unless I'm overlooking it entirely, which is always possible. No, I'm struggling to find one, so instead... Let's use a two-lane alley. That will work. And we'll just have it come off here. And again, we'll try and stick to this contour line. Just like that. Not done a very good job of sticking to the contour line, as we can see. Smooth some of the worst of it off there, although we can't get rid of much of that. And up here is where we'll have our main farm building. So what we need to do is we need to zone an industrial area. That runs along Rose Hill Rise. And we'll have it go up the hill. So this will be our farming area. Southern Hay Industrial Estate. Okay. And what we want to do then is go into industrial specialization, farming industry. So, yeah, that seems to have worked. So there's our main farmhouse. Let's quickly pause it because they're soon going to start to complain about the lack of power and water. And we'll give them some farm buildings areas. And we want some crops. We have two fields of crops, I think. We'll have a small fruit field as well, just to mix it up a little. And that can go up there. And then we'll have some animal pastures. Perhaps three of those. And we want some silos for storage. And where is the warehouse? Storage buildings. Warehouses, here we go. A warehouse yard, small warehouse, 128 per week, 256 per week. And we'll go for that one. And we'll put the warehouse a little bit out of the way, like that. What's he complaining about? No resource selected. Well, you're going to store. Da -da 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 -da. Animal products, no. Flour, no. No, 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 no. Farming products. Yes. Okay, I think that's right. This is the first time I've really played with the industries. I think I'm doing it right. So, yep, 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 yep. Small fruit greenhouse. No, let's have apples. What can we... Oh, pigs. Yeah, we'll keep pigs there. We'll have cows over here. And sheep over here. Corn and corn. How about corn and we'll have two wheat? We'll have two wheat fields. There we go. So now we need some water for our new farming area. I'm hoping this works as I think it will. It might not, but if not, it'll be a lesson learned. Well, there's the water, although that's no good because it doesn't have access to a water source, so let's bring it down the way like that and you also want some power I am sure now we don't want to use a great big power lines for this so let's use these small more rural power lines down here and I don't want any snap to this time and you're just gonna run up the side of the street here make each bit 12 long so that's where that's the maximum you can get before it chucks in a second or a third pylon or pole and if you run up to there and then if we put a substation down just for aesthetics not for functionality and that should be fine but you also need power over to the warehouse is there enough room? Ah, there is. So we'll go 10, 7, 
7 and then over to 12. Oh no, okay. And we'll have you just like terminate there and then you join into there. Let's turn the contours off and let's see what happens here. So you have no goods, you acquire crops. Well, we have crops. So they should grow soon. Let's have a look here. So we have 56 workers out of a possible 80. We need 75 workers to reach the next level as well as 500 produced units. The workers continues to climb which is fantastic. So you are now generating crops I think. I want these to fill, is that right? Probably. Well I'll keep one on balanced and one on fill and see what difference that makes. Here come all the, the wagons and the vehicles now. I don't know if they're loading or unloading, but either way. Oh, yep, and they're dropping off the corn, or the crops, I should say, to the animals, which has satisfied their little need. I take it you're not profitable. Nope. My God, you're not profitable at all. But I do think... Think, oh, it's because we're having to import a lot of crops at the moment. So how can, can you see the yield here? 2,400 units per week. And can you see how much you need? I don't know if you can. But I think, basically, we need more crop fields for this. I could be wrong i am just guessing like i said i haven't really played around with this yet let's see here let's put some more small crop fields down mindful of the power lines of course there we go and what are these are these just decorative or do they actually fun i think they function and what does those okay we've got cornfield lavender sorghum or sunflowers let's go for a oh no let's go for let's go for a sorghum field and that has six workplaces there doesn't seem to be any texture on the sorghum field nor on the cornfield very strange Right, so we'll have to keep an eye on Southern Hay Farm. Negative 8,000. We are producing. We have enough workers to hit the uh, next level milestone, which is fine. I take it these animal products... Balanced. To, oh, okay, okay, right, no. Keep that unbalanced. This one we set to fill, and that's filling with crops. You're also filling with crops. You're filling with just general farming products. I guess that's a mixture. Who knows? There's definitely no, you know, I can't select crops on there, so that's fine. Oh, I, th I think I, s I think I understand. Okay. I want animal products in there, and I think all the crops go into here. And then from there, they go to the animals. And then the animal products go into here. And from there, I guess we can export them to the wider market. And I do believe you can do a, a, a larger production chain so we can use the animal products for various bits and pieces. Which is something we'll have to uh, keep an eye on later. I don't know why I've got the traffic flow screen open, but hey, it's 89%, which is pretty damn good. I can't argue with that. Can we uh, just get rid of that? Yeah, there we go. So we still have a very high demand for industrial. So we are going to have to expand our industrial sector down here, I think. So initially, well, put down all the snap tools back on. We'll keep a straight. But then we do want to follow the 
contour and the curvature of the river like that. And then we just need some smaller roads. Can you squeeze around there? You can. And you can really hug against the side of the river before rejoining in. And can you squeeze through? Oh, you absolutely will. You did demolish one industrial, but industrial building, but that's fine. And let's put down the water. Again, not perfectly under the roads, but good enough. And industrial zone. We have unlocked office zones, but uh, yeah, as it said there, you need really universities to provide the workers, and we don't have a university yet. I mean, we could build one, but it just feels odd having a university in a city of only 13,000. I tend to wait till the cities are a little bit larger to make it a little bit more uh, realistic. Yeah. So, crops are filling up nicely. Plenty of crops. Are you still emptying? Yes, you are. Ah, started making money now. And that's because we're no longer importing the crops. We are obviously producing our own. It's a shame that that texture doesn't work, but uh, there you go. And there we go. Another night evening shot of West Bambridge. Illuminated very nicely. Obviously, you miss that. You don't see nearly as much of the details, but. Just seeing the street lights in the distance, I think it's quite pleasant. Right, if we head up onto the up on the hill, yeah, that does look. Let's just turn all that gubbins off. Yes, it does look rather pleasant. Certainly expanding quite nicely. Didn't mean to pause it. How's Montrose doing? You've built up very very nicely. And that's good as an almost, what's about, about 2,000 extra people just from Montrose alone, which is rather impressive. Still got the high demand for industrial. I think that might be because, oh no, nothing's building at all. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I know why. We need to go to, there we go. It's because we only have, for the generic uh, city theme, we had a UK terrorist and UK commercial. Obviously, neither of those do include industrial zones, so that's why nothing was building. But there we go, as soon as we unticked that, our industrial, our new industrial sector starts to pop into existence and take hold. We have a fire somewhere over here in Cockwood. There's nothing worse than having your cockwood on fire. I must say the firefighters seem to be a little bit more on the ball this time around, although we still run the risk of having it respread as we can see from these trees. The helicopters on their way back. Yes, they are. Need to get it contained nice and quickly, please. There we go. Not too much damage done that time around, which is very good to see how is southern hay farm now profitable maxed out our workers and we're nearly up to level two just another 98 resource units to produce so i take it then we're not okay so we're producing 10 tons of crops and that seven of those 10 tons feed into the animal products I guess that means we could export three tons. Maybe. Although it says here acquisition 14 tons. I, I, I need to go away and study how all this works together. Because I am just guessing at the moment. But it seems to be working. I might be missing. It might not be the most efficient thing in the world. And I might be missing a few things. But uh as long as it's producing, it seems to be, and we were profitable, although we've just gone negative there, but not by much. It's certainly not as much as the negative 8,000 we had initially. What I'm going to do here is just put a few trees down in this area. And what tree do I want to have here? Leafy tree. 
sure. And we'll have free form. And have a couple. Oh, they're tiny. How do they look? Now, I want something a little bigger. Linden trees. Let's have a look. Yes, just to screen off the farm a little. Like that, and then have that run to there. Stop there because of the power line. Yep. Okay, and again, just avoid the power line. It doesn't make a difference, but just for aesthetics, we want to avoid it. Up to there. How does that look now? Down from the city. Yeah, it looks a little better. Do we want to run a bus out here for the workers? Hmm. Just walking through the cornfield onto your bike. Okay. Are you working? Okay. Yeah, sorry. That makes sense. Now, we don't need to put a bus out there, I don't think. I think we're fine with just the road access. Now, one thing I... Oh, we got traffic building up here. Okay. Okay, you appear just to be stopping for no good reason. Let's see if we can do anything to fix that. What if we tell you to do that? Well, it's got rid of the traffic jam. These now stop here, but as we can see, not too many come this way. We'll try on that for a while and see what that does for us. How's our new industrial expansion area doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. What's that? Best parts. Well, it says Williams on there. Somebody's telling fibs. Uh, what was I going to do? I, well, I, you know, I'm quite tempted to go for university. But I might save it for a second episode. And do a uh, campus area. And what I'll do... Ooh, our farm's upgraded. And what I would do is actually go away and learn how it all works. So I'm not going in blind like we have on Southern Hay Farm. So now that this is level 2, then what can we do? Has it unlocked extra buildings, uh, extra policies? No. Maybe they are available in here. Yes, I do believe there are some extras here. What do we have here? Farm workers barracks. Increases work efficiency by 5% up to a maximum of 100. Auxiliary buildings need to be placed inside the industry area. Well, we'll put one of those down. Not in the middle of a sorghum field, though. We'll put that there. What else do we have? A small barn. Well, this can store some crops, so we'll have one of those. Just there. What else? What's this? A flour mill. And a cattle shed. Okay, so we could start producing flour. I mean, we already have a cattle, uh, so we already have cattle producing, so I'm not sure we need a cattle shed yet. But it is something to bear in mind. The barracks will help boost a little bit of productivity. That's easy for you to say. It'll boost efficiency a little, as we can do 105. And you will just be an extra storage for the crops, mainly for aesthetics. Struggling to get my words out here. Uh, rather than functionality, we can afford to treat ourselves a little. I think a half a mil, we're doing pretty well there. I'm quite... Hmm. Should I turn off the forest fires if that's a possible thing? So while you can disable the random disasters, uh, doing that, you can then stop fire spread. But that will get rid of all disasters. And I would like to keep... I know we've only had fires at the moment... But the occasional earthquake or flood or lightning storm or whatever, meteor, would be quite interesting to deal with and add an extra 
challenge element so i'm not going to disable the disasters but i have turned their frequency down whether that affects the fires or not i don't know i would be surprised if it did but we'll see what happens okay so we still need some more industrial anyway let's uh, stop getting sidetracked i don't want to build any more up here because i'll start to get too close to the school which would be a little bit weird so instead we're going to take this arterial and we're going to have it run down the river's edge down here just to just to there so far and then we want to get the local roads could we squeeze it into there well we can but it's gonna have to go through some commercial properties oh well uh, I think that will do for now. Let's get some water. We can see our water availability is ever so slowly creeping up towards the safe, not the safe limit, the, uh, the well, it's not even a limit really, is it? But we're nearly in the yellow, which means we might start having water shortages in the near future so we're going to need another pump at some point but for now let's just focus on getting this industrial set up and we'll have it down to there on that side all of this will be industrial and up gargany gargany lane gargany lane whatever it is gonna go up there and a little bit along just a there you can have some and we'll see how that does for us let that bed in just take a minute in fact shall we uh utilize this and just have a little look at some cinematic shots of the city that looks like that is i forgot its name already the terraced area we did a couple of episodes ago in episode two i can't see where that that could be penketh i'm not sure that looks that's definitely montrose tell by all the high density areas there that's definitely montrose that that's penketh that's yes that's penketh you can tell by the straight roads that is another shot of Penketh down the main collector. Indeed it is down the side streets there in Penketh. Ah, this is the main road into town. I guess that's the junction for the farm area. That is, I still can't remember what it's called, that area. It's going to bug me now. There's our junction and our solar updraft tower. And there is the M52, I want to say. I think it was the M52. Yes, rather pleasant. Down, that's what it's called. Yes, the, uh, the terraced area is down. Okay, we have a pollution problem over here and the ground is polluted right okay let's quickly in fact let's not pause it let's get the pollution overlay and i'm guessing that's because of this treatment plant well in that case let's just stick you out of the way a little there we go you need a connection of course in terms of a water pipe and let's see what effect that has will that ease off the pollution concerns there not yet yes you do have sewage availability okay let's just double check. what do we have here recycling center not that where's the pollution one gone where is it there it is ah yeah it's the landfill it's the landfill well i'm gonna say we'll dump that we'll empty the landfill We might need another recycling centre to cope, but that's fine. We can afford that, no problem. 
let's get another one of those. Uh, recycling center, and we'll pop it. Make sure it's a decent distance from the school, which it is. So once the, uh, the landfill has emptied, we'll then demolish that, and that should help with this pollution problem, which is just affecting this little house here, the mill residence. They do have access to a doctor's surgery, as we can see. And in fact, what I'm going to do is just paint in a little bit of pavement around here, because walking on the grass just looks a bit odd. Okay, that's overwritten the main pavement, but that's fine. If we can blend it in somehow. No, it'll just have to stay like that. There we go. Just makes it look a little bit more realistic. Oh, taxi stands. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've put some taxi stands down. I don't think they're being used much. Oh no, 88% of them are in use. Uh, 10 per week. The buses are quite popular as we can see. And I've also renamed them to the districts that they're serving or traveling between. So down to Tylehurst, Penkoff, Penkoff, Cockwood, West, Tylehurst, Cockwood. And as you can see, decent amount of passengers. I mean, the down Tylehurst is very popular, 179. That's hardly surprising because down is a very uh, busy district. And I think you can actually see, yes, look at that, 2,000 people live in the suburb of down. New Portsea, oh, that's even bigger. Montrose, even bigger. So there's me saying down is a big suburb. And so far, it's the smallest of the three that we've had a look at. Smaller than Cockwood, too. Ah, so it's not quite the smallest. Penkoff hold that, holds that. Oh, no, Tilehurst. But these are... Yes, these are quite small, but that's fine. So, yes, it's a, a fairly small size district. Not a, not a large one that I initially thought that it was, but hey-ho. So how's the emptying going over here? 56% full. Oh, well, it'll get there when, when it gets there. Is that a thunderclap? I believe it was. And it looks like we have a fire somewhere just over here. Yeah, nicely contained. No real danger there. Have a quick look at the farm. They're still not selling anything. Is that because... No. So you're filling in your balance. Well, that's... I think that's working okay. You're also balanced. I guess what they do, they fill to a certain point, and at that point, then they will sell, which is why sometimes you go into uh, negative profits, otherwise known as a loss for those in the biz. Okay, well, I think that's a decent enough point to end it for today. I'm not sure if this farm is. The most efficient or even working as correctly as it should be but what the heck uh, we can afford the exuberance so not really too concerned by that i hope you enjoyed the episode as i said i am going to go away and study these districts and these zones the industrial zones and the uh obviously the airport zone and the university campus area as well so next time around we can start working on a university and at that point, then we can start thinking about putting in some office areas as well. I must say Montrose is looking nice and built up. Quite like that. I think that looks quite nice indeed. Not sure we need the fire watchtower there anymore. Maybe we'll get rid of that. So yeah, between episodes, I'll probably do a bit of beautification work around the place. Build a unique factory to produce luxury goods. What can we build? A bakery? Hmm. Might consider that for the next episode. We're not going to do it now. Okay, let's find something we want to have a little ride on for the outro. Where are you going? To the small playground. And you're not going that far. Bear with me while I find a car to stalk. Okay, we're going to hop on this forestry truck lorry from Renmont which is importing products to Garments Limited. So let's hop on board.
let's unpause proceedings and enjoy a little ride in the rain so as always thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode as we head into the evening over west bambridge on our approach into the city down the london road for now all that remains for me to say is as always ladies and gentlemen take very good care of yourselves it's tata for now